Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Scorched Earth. Gonna be doing a little bit of cooking today. I need to get some more kibble made up since we used quite a bit of it when we were doing imprinting on our Argentavis. And I wanna try the custom foods out again. So last time, our recipes got a little messed up from the time that we actually made them and then the final product wasn't giving us the correct numbers. So I had some other stuff we're gonna try out. And then I wanna make some more of the map specific stuff. It's called Cactus Broth. It does two things. It reduces our water consumption and it also reduces our aggro range. So that will help keep stuff away from us when we're trying to sneak by, especially in caves. We will be doing like a spider tame coming up and we will be in the cave for that. So it'll be nice not to have everything come for us when we're doing that. So first things first is we're going to need some tech pariser eggs. So I need to get these guys out of here. You and you. Oh, that's right. You're stuck. That was a problem last time. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. I want everybody on passive. You were going to unclaim. Let's put you on. Okay, you are on passive. And then options. Unclaim you. And I'll claim, unclaim the other one. We'll use the Carno. And then we'll go ahead and kill them off. Cool. And that'll get them out of here. And then we can make some more eggs real quick before we head out. I need to get quite a bit of cactus sap, so we will be on the kangaroo for that. Holy crap, how much health do you got? There we go. I wasn't hitting both of them. That was a problem. He's pretty way down, but he's got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of scrap. We'll empty him out later. So for right now, let's go ahead and get these guys going. That one's already enabled. Cool. I need at least two eggs from these guys. So they're making one now. Let's take a look and see how much... Whoa, dude, we need to turn you around. Your tail is not going to work like that. Need to see how much kibble we got left. Uh, we might head over, grab some honey, and do that as well. Since we're going to be messing with the industrial cooker. And just kind of do it all at once. You know, we will be needing kibble for our other teams. So yeah, we only got four left. And then as far as eggs... Oh, actually, we have some tech pariser eggs. We got one there, so we only need one more. Because I need two for my recipe. And then these I want to keep for later. I don't think I'm going to use them, but they're good eggs. And you should be just about ready. You are. Let's eat a little bit of food. Drink a little bit. And then we're going to be doing, like I've been saying in the last video, we're going to be doing wolves for the final alpha mana core. That'll be the last thing we do on this map before we change over. So we do need to head out here pretty soon and start getting those ready. We've got to tame two of them up. So I was wanting to do Megatherium, right? Because, I mean, look at his stats, man. 10,000 on his health and then 8,000 on, or 800% on his damage. And it's not too bad, man. They're, they're fairly easy. And this is a low level one. The only thing is he won't be getting the boost in there because there's no bugs or anything. So I don't know, man. I don't know if it's going to really work out if I do those. And holy crap, are they taking forever? Fantastic. Just what I was waiting for. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off so we don't have the issue again with having a ton of those things hatch and getting all clipped into the floor again. We'll grab this other one there. So that's all we need for that. All right. Where's our moth at? I think we'll be going on the moth if we go to get honey again. I know, I need to do something with all these birds, man. I kind of want to put them up top there. I just didn't want to mess with it after the last Minicore fight. Let's throw these eggs in here so I don't forget about them and have them spoil. So yeah, we need to make some more Lazarus chowder, which requires the honey. I think we're going to just drop this because see, the food and health aren't what they originally were supposed to be. So I don't know what's up with that, man. Let's go ahead and just drop these, get them out of there. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead, let's grab the bug spray. 
we'll head over real quick and grab us a little bit of honey. That bug spray should help with stuff coming after us. I don't know why I didn't think about it last time. And I think we're going to go on the Argentavis just because I want to get some lamb chop. If we see any on the way back. Because we can use either cooked prime meat or the cooked lamb for the recipe that I'm wanting to build. And both are kind of easy to come by. Lamb chop, just you get so much of it at once, you know. I'll throw just a little bit of resources in here so we're not quite overweight on the bird. Awesome. All right. I'm going to head over to the little cavern. Kind of over by where the artifact is. That's where we got the honey at last time. And it should go easier this time since we had the bug spray. I don't know why I forgot about it last time. But I think it'll be all right, man. It'll be a little bit easier this time. I think what we're going to do is just start this in and work our way down. We only need probably 15 or so of the honey since it's one-to-one -one on the crafting when we do the kibble. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. And that should help out with the bees. I'm hoping, man, because last time, dude, it's like as soon as you touch the honey, it's you can't run from them. It's not the kind of bees where you can run. Let's see if I can remember where the hives are as a thing. They're kind of attached to the sides here, you know. I know there's quite a few nests. I just forgot to bring my grapple hooks. So we're going to have to do the ones where I can land next to them. Ah, there's one there. Nice, nice. Put the bird down right here. Can I... Oh, I'll tell you what. Cool. They didn't attack us. So that's all. <laughs> Man, if I would have remembered that the first time, somebody left me a comment saying, why didn't you use bug spray? And I was like, well, I didn't think about it. One here, and there should be one at the other end of the cavern. Oh, it's so nice not having him come for us every time, man. Take quite a bit of health damage, you know. That one I don't think I can get to because of the grapple. What if I can just hop off the bird and land on it? Oh, dude. Well, hey, got back on the Argus Davis. That did not work out like I thought it was going to. Did I get the honey? Oh, dude, I almost died, though. Nope, didn't get it. Hey, come here, man. Well, now that our health is down to half, something I was trying to <laughs> avoid. And it's time was from jumping, not from the bees. That's all right. We'll grab this last stack that's on the way out over here. And that should be plenty, man. I don't think we're going to even use all of it. It does spoil fairly fast. Oh, there it is. I missed this one last time I was coming through here. Couldn't figure out where it was. I thought it was up higher. So that's 15 honey. That should be plenty. I forgot to bring some salts with me. That would uh, kind of help that last a little bit longer. But we're going to head back to base. I need to get some cactus sap. There's a wolf. 72. That's not too bad. I kind of want to get 100 or above for taming. That way we can have some good little ones that come out from it because it's going to be like our, our last fight. It's going to be kind of our last video on this map. And I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to lose on it. You know, that'd be a horrible ending for Scorched Earth, you know. But I'm going to keep my eye out for one of the sheep on the way back. If we see one, we will grab it, take it back with us. And if not, not a big deal. we got plenty of prime meat to use. And we will start the grill up and start cooking. All right, so we just need to grab some cactus sap. I did change out the Argentavis for the kangaroo. And good news and bad news. Good news is I did find a sheep. Bad news is a carno killed it right as I was getting up to it. So... We didn't get it. <laughs> it's all good, though, man. Let's grab some of this. We're going to need cactus sap. We're going to need a little bit of all the berries. We are overweight. We don't need that many of the berries. We need a couple of the blue ones, a couple of the yellows, a lot of sap, and then I think we're doing okay on the purple. We'll get rid of the narcos. I don't really need any of the red ones, I don't think, either. I see a snake. Oh, we're overweight still. Well, I'll tell you what. Can a guy have a minute, man? I'm just saying. Please don't pass out. Well, now that I just cleaned our inventory out. I don't think, think we need quite that much sap. We will be needing a lot, though, because that's a main ingredient for one of our recipes. 
And I want to keep these. We're going to be doing a team for the Tapieras. And those things always run from you, right? So the best thing to do is we'll be using some of the rare flowers. Because those cause aggro, you know? And I just threw them out. Ah, well. I'll get some more later. It's not that big of a deal. But the rare flowers, man, they kind of get everything to come for you. So that should help out with the Tapiera. I think I did a team like that. Oh, man. Long time ago. Back when we were on Valgaro. So uh, it does work unless something has changed. And I'd like to just team a Tapiera. It's been a long time. We're going to see maybe if we can get the tech replicator going. Because there is a tech saddle for the Tapiera. I just got to kind of... Oh, my gosh, dude. Did he just spawn out of nowhere? Or maybe he came from behind that tree because that pig chasing him. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but we got to kind of work out the Black Pearl situation. I'm going to try to kill off some more of the sandworms or death worms that are out there because we kind of try to need to find an alpha one anyways all right so i think we have everything that we need let's get him over a little bit closer all right so let's grab some purple berries first thing we'll do is make up the little bit of kibble that we will need and let's drop these guys because they aren't worth anything. I need to get some more gas. Is that only one? Yeah, it's only one can in there. And you're out of gas. Boy, I tell you what. We might have a gas shortage. There we go. That's going to be plenty. So it's half of it into you. And then half of it into you. So, Lazarus Chatter. We need to grab some vegetables, some narcotics, and some meats. Let's use... I think we need this one. And that one. We got one there. Let's go ahead and throw that in. Just make up as much as we can. Use up all the eggs that we got. Oh. Let's grab the narcotics. Do I have any left? I know I was getting pretty shy on it. Yeah, we do. A little bit. Alright, man. Do your thing. Give us some chowder. Nice. So we're going to need some fiber. And then the honey and a little bit more purple berries. And I think that's it. Oh, eggs. Key ingredient. We're going to use all of these. Got that slow walk going on. A little bit of that before he starts crying about being hungry, like he always does. And I should grab some of these salts, just so stuff lasts a little bit longer. Are we good? We got nine. We got eight of those, so close enough. Let's grab some of these. Let's drop you. You're about empty or about used. So that should give us enough. That'll give us eight, right? That's all that we had eggs for. And we'll have one of those chowders left over. Oh, we got quite a few. I'll tell you what, we have... We got seven. Let's go ahead and grab... Seven of the eggs from over there, our good ones. Like I said, we're not going to really use them. I was wanting to hold on to them. But, let's go ahead and do it so we don't have to make kibble again while we're over here. Should be the last time we got to make this kibble while we're on the map. Depending on what the wolves want. I don't know if those ever want kibble for when you raise them up on the imprints. I've never, never really done anything with wolves. That'll leave us two just in case. Oh, we got the four. Let's keep it all together. Take that with us as well. We might be overweight for the kangaroo. Ah, we are. We're overweight for everything. There we go. We can fly over. <laughs> we'll do the slow, slow flyover on this, and I have to go back and get the kangaroo because he has all the stuff we need for our next set of cooking, which will be the foods and our drink. It's all right. We'll throw this into here, though, and let that go while we're doing that. Cool. Let's change this guy back out. And I think whenever we go to do the wolves, I think we're going to end up doing a drop trap. And then that way we can kind of 
funnel them in, and then I can also use the bird to drop them in, you know, if we find some. It'll kind of be the easiest way, I think, to do them. I should just take all of my birds down into the wyvern trench and let them go crazy, you know? It'll end up killing them all, but that'd yeah, be fun, something fun to do. All right, let's check all this stuff and clean out the cooking pot. Wait, what? What am I missing? Oh, some honey. I was going to say, I thought I had everything in there. Oh, I only got five. I should have grabbed that last thing of honey. That's all right, though. While that's going, let's make up some notes. We're going to need a couple of those. I think that's just fiber and thatch, right? I think we only need about ten. We really only need... Well, let's make ten. I don't need that many. Ah, oh, I forgot about this thing popping up. We should only need two. Because like I said, I've already kind of pre-planned out what we're going to be doing. I just hope they stick this time. And it makes what it, sh it should. Cancel out all these. Come on, man. Go away. All right. Are we good here? Nice. 19. That is fantastic. So let's get rid of all this. Not the gas. You can stay. Turn you off. Drop you off. And then we'll throw this into here. So, we will throw this into here. We're going to need one of those. I think what we're going to do first is the liquid. So, for the liquid I've got planned out, it should be 32 of the vegetables. And they're all kind of the same. We've got a bunch of all of them. And the thing is, it's going to say more water than it's actually going to be. That's what kind of got me messed up the first time, right? So we'll make a recipe. This is going to be drink. Let's go ahead and get our colors set because this should be the only time that we have to do this. I'm hoping. So that says 301 on the water. Interesting. And I think it's kind of weird I didn't have to turn the fire on for that to work. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Let's go ahead and try to make this up. Alright, I just want to make one. And we'll hold on to that for later. So it still says 301 there. So it should be, we'll let our water get down, and then we should be able to drink that, and it fill the whole thing up. I mean, that's kind of the plan, right? Do it all at once. And then for the foods, I've got planned out we'll need the two eggs. We're going to need 25 meat, prime meat, and then we're going to need the cactus sap. So put you in there, and you, split you into 25. And then we need 200 of the cactus sap. All right, I think that's it. Um, wow, not that color. A little bit of lettuce. Now let's do this as, uh, uh-huh, a little bit of you. Add a little bit more color. Fantastic. Nice. All right, what'd you come out to be? 307 on the food, and then health is 223. So that should heal us up as well. All right, let's go ahead and try to make it over here. And our food and water is getting pretty low, so that should work out. We need to make 25. Actually, we're going to put the whole stack, right? Because it's only going to take what it needs. All right, let's put everything back in here. And I want to leave... Let's leave the notes in here. Just in case we need them again. And we'll hold on to our food and water. And we do have one more thing to make. Maybe we'll do that. I was going to run our stamina and food down, or our food and water down. But let's go ahead and make this cactus broth while we're doing this. So we're going to need almost everything that's in here. Let's grab a couple of you. You and you.
And then I think we just need purple berries. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Nice. So what I'm hoping is if these fill up our food and water like it should... And then I'm hoping we should be able to take one of these, plus that, and dude, our water should be good for quite a while. Let's just keep three of those for now, four of those for now. How many are you going to make up, man? A couple of them? Might as well just make a stack, right? We got all the resources for it. Just let it run and do its thing, and then we will test out our other stuff here real quick. And what's the timer on that? Nine hours, that's not too bad. We'll leave that in there for now. Well, let's take one. I want to try it. All right, cool. So, food's down pretty low, and so is water. Let's go ahead and eat one of these, and we'll see if that fills it up all the way, and then that as well. So, technically, those should both go to 100 if the recipe actually worked this time. Last time, they wouldn't. Nice, so it looks like it's actually going to work this time. So I'm wondering if last time what messed it all up is I had the focal chili I used last time because that boosts your crafting recipe percent and everything. So I'm wondering if that somehow bugged my recipes because the focal chili only worked while I was crafting these and then it seems like they were messed up afterwards. So that definitely works. It filled everything up and then I should be able to eat that. And it should slow our water consumption down. I mean, that lasts 10 minutes. That's not bad at all, man. Fairly cheap to make. Very, very easy, actually, to make. Nice, man. Well, not too bad of a day. We finally, on one of our last videos for this map, got our food and waters <laughs> somewhat sorted out. So I think we're going to keep up with that. Uh, I need to make some more eggs for the Tech Pariser so I can make some more of the food. And then we don't need to carry the canteen around. We don't need to carry around a stack of cooked meat for it to go bad. Because, dude, the custom recipes last a very long time, even here with the heat the way it is. But, going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you liked a couple new recipes that we made. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.